when you order a book and you get a box the size of like an air conditioning unit, I figured, you know what, it'd be kind of cool to share the experience of opening this thing with you guys. Plus, it's a photography book, so it, you know, matches the channel. Remember, this is a book. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. The old box in a box. See, I don't know how to do these unboxing videos. I just know, apparently, there are things in boxes and you take them out of the boxes and people watch you do this, so. That is heavy. We're on to the second box. Now we get to do this again. Looky here. We got another box in a box. There's another box with foam. Well, it is the book. No more boxes. Very excited about this. Kevin Kelly is the person who created this book. He's the photographer of this book. He's also the founder of Wired Magazine. And what's really cool is, I mean, this is filled with thousands of images. And each image is accompanied with a caption. Not only are the images amazing, but it's, uh, imagine the experiences he's had capturing these images. You know, this book is sort of a celebration of these cultures that are very quickly disappearing. And he's captured it over a 40 year span where because the world is becoming sort of more homogenized just because of technology and our ability to communicate with one another, things are becoming more the same than they ever were. And this book is sort of a celebration of the differences, which is, which is really cool. I think it's a real one-of-a-kind catalog. I don't think you're ever gonna see something like this again. So it's gonna make all these poetic comparisons between you know vanishing Asian thousand-year-old customs and then the, sort of the micro version of that here in Vancouver, our own Chinatown, which is completely changing, you know, every year. And then this guy shows up. I was capturing some footage for this video in Chinatown, which and if you're not from Vancouver, you'll know it's been getting sketchier and sketchier, you know, by the day it feels like. Anyway, this guy comes up to me and starts asking me questions about my camera because he sees me holding it. And that's the thing, you're a sitting duck when you're shooting video. Right? You gotta be careful about your surroundings. If you're, if you're shooting stills, you can just go snap and keep walking. And this guy approaches me and he starts asking me all these questions about my camera. Hey, nice camera you got there. How much you think that'll go for? And my spidey sense is going off, especially because he's got a freaking needle in his mouth. I try to be polite and answer a few of his questions, but I notice as I'm moving around, as I try to sort of change directions, I'm in the corner of an intersection, he's sort of shadowing my movements and he's kind of following me. And I realize, oh boy, this is this is not good. I'm about to get mugged. I've never been mugged. So I'm like, oh, this is the first time. And my FX3 is gonna get stolen. I notice the light turned green in the opposite direction. So I just turn and started walking away. And then I just, I didn't even look back. I didn't want to look back. And I hear him just starting to swear. I don't know what, what he was saying, but he's swearing at me. And then he throws the freaking needle at me. The one that was in his mouth, God knows what was in it, throws it at me. But luckily he missed. I just beelined it for my car, got in, and got the hell out of there. Anyway, check out the book. <laughs> There's an Amazon link below. It's an affiliate link, so I get a couple pennies if you buy. It doesn't cost you any more, but see you next time.